Yes guys, I hope you're all good. Today I wanted to make a video on how to start your fitness journey and for those of you that are already on your fitness journey, this video will help as well because it might give you some things that you've not thought about already that might help you move forward. So tip number one, why? Why are you starting? Like, What's the reason that you're going to gym? I don't want you to just think, oh I want to improve this, I want you to think what deeper than that. So why do you want to improve that? Like. How much does it mean to you? If you can find that deep reason of why, you know, is it some sort of insecurity? Is it just something that helps you with your mental health? If you can delve deeper and find out why you really want to change something, you can focus on that and keep that at the front of your mind. And you can write that down and use that to remember on the tough days, on the days where you're lacking motivation, remember the why, remember why you started, remember what you're trying to achieve, and remember that it won't just happen overnight, but that's another tip as well. Number two, stop waiting for the right time. A lot of people always think, right, well, I'm going to start, but I'll just wait till, uh, uh, t uh, no, just start now, do you know what I mean? Like, even now is a perfect example, we're three weeks before the gym's open, and probably 90% of people are, are saying, oh, I'll wait till the gyms are open, and when the gym's open, I'll go and I'll, you know, I'll be on it. But just start now. Why do you need to wait three weeks? That's three weeks worth of progress that you're missing out for for no reason whatsoever. Just because for some reason it, you, you need to wait for the gym. Listen, you do not wait, need to wait for the gym. Most of you do not need to wait for the gym. You should be doing stuff now. Although I can understand where you're coming from. You know, you don't need to wait. Start now. As soon as you start as soon as you can start seeing results, that's how I see it. Number three, have a plan. So there's nothing worse than having in your head, right, I'm gonna lose some weight. But what's that? Some. How can you be accountable for some weight when you don't even have a goal in the first place? You don't have a plan on how to get there. You need to be planning your workouts around your week. Everyone's different, you know, everyone's got different jobs, everyone's got different things that take up most of their time. So you need to be planning your workouts and cooking and nutrition and stuff around when you're free. If you know that you're a morning person and you normally like to work out in the morning, you need to plan your day so that you can get your workouts done in the morning. There's no point you being at your prime in the, in the gym at 7 a.m. but then not planning your day and then having to go to the gym at 7 p.m. when you're knackered and you've got no energy because you never have energy but you're forcing yourself to go to the gym because that's the only time that come free. Just plan your day properly, you know. If you like the morning, get up an hour early and go to the gym at 6 or 7 a.m. I think it's easy if you just plan your week. Month, say Sunday night, you can plan what days you're going to do a workout. You can plan what you're going to do on those workouts. You're going to plan, you can plan what time you're going to eat. You can plan what time, you're going, what days you're going to cut your meals. Are you going to meal prep for three days? So you can do that some, like Monday night. Like Plan, you need to plan. For most people, if you take every day as it comes, you've got no chance. Number four, so we've talked about um, planning, planning your week, planning your nutrition. So number four is gonna be setting realistic goals. It's so important that you set goals relevant to you. There's no point you setting a goal to achieve something that somebody else has achieved when you and that other person are completely different. You need to take into account the situation you're in, the time you've got, how dedicated you can be, and then you set your goals from there and make them realistic. If it's your first time in the gym, you know, setting a goal of doing a 100 kg squat when you've never squatted before is just ridiculous. You need to set a short term goal, medium term goal and a long term goal. If you just have a long term goal, which is months away, it's going to, you're just not going to feel as motivated because you're going to feel so far away from achieving that goal. It's important that you set those short term goals because over a period of time, they then become big achievements. For example, if your goals were to lose one pound per week, in three months, you've lost over a stone. And that small one pound adds up. Number five, don't compare yourself to others. For me, there's nothing worse than comparing yourself to somebody else. You need to think that you're in your own lane and stay in your own lane. You don't need to compare to somebody else. You don't need to compare to someone you've seen on Instagram, someone you've seen on YouTube. Just think of yourself and think of how you can improve yourself. If you're following um, somebody on Instagram who has your perfect body and the reason that they have a following on Instagram is because of their body, that is then their job. It is a lot of people's job to look good. The people that you will follow, the people that you 
see looking peeled all year round, the people that you see that have got the perfect glutes, the perfect abs, the perfect everything, it's probably their job. The only thing I compare myself to others is going to do is get you down, get you thinking that stuff's not working and that's just not the way to think. Focus on yourself, focus on something you want to change, work your ass off for it and it will happen, I promise you. Number six, take accountability. You need to be responsible for the actions that you're taking. I've spoken about it on the page before, but if you're, say, working out during the week, but then you know yourself that you've had a cheeky Chinese on a Saturday night, be accountable for it. Do you know what I mean? You can't expect miracles when you actually know yourself that you've not even done what you told yourself you'd do, but you're then disappointed with yourself to see, not see the scales go down, but you know that you went on a big one on Saturday night, so it's like, be accountable if you're going to go out on Saturday night, that's fine, but be prepared to not see the results when you go and you check in on your Monday. If you finish off your kids' dinner, that's fine, but they have calories as well, and... Be accountable for those calories. You can factor those things into your diet, okay? But you just have to be accountable. You can't, if you say you eat it quick so it doesn't matter, so it didn't count, you know, you're still going inside, yeah? You still need to be accountable for it. If you said at the start of the week you're going to go to the gym three times and you only go once, that's fine, but be accountable for it. You can't then expect miracles from just going once when you told yourself that you was going to go three times. Number seven, that's patience. So, Nothing's going to happen overnight. It's, you know, if it did, we'd all be walking around exactly how we want to be. It would be dead easy. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as that. It does take time, but if you're doing the right things and following the right nutrition, good training plans in place, and you're working hard, I promise you, you'll see the results. Number eight, the last one is make sure you fuel your body right. There's no point nailing the training and coming home and slacking on the nutrition and not getting enough sleep and not drinking any water. You want to be focusing on all of it. We want to make sure that you're well hydrated. We want to make sure that you're eating the right things to hit your goals, whether that be weight loss or muscle building. You might need to hit your protein. You might need to hit your calories. Whatever, that, whatever your goal may be, it's not just going to be one. You know, It's one of four things. You've got your uh, training, nutrition, hydration, and sleep. We want to make sure that all those four things are in key. Training, we want to make sure that you're following a well-structured training plan tailored to your goals. Number two, nutrition. Depending on your goal, you want to make sure that the nutrition is going to help you get to your goal quicker. Number three, uh, hydration. We want to make sure that you're drinking at least three litres of water a day. Number four, sleep. We want to make sure that you're not lacking on sleep. We don't want you to feel fatigued. We don't want you to feel rough. You need to make sure that you get your sleep in. Okay, eight hours a day, roughly. If you can aim for that, be good, good to go. go. Thank, Thank you all for listening. listening. I hope this helped. <coughs> if it did, drop, drop me a like, drop me a comment, let me know what you want to see next. Boom. Boom.